ectopic pregnancy, you have a 28-year-old woman who has presented at six weeks of pregnancy with positive pregnancy test. Ultrasound reveals that there is a three centimeter left at nexal mass, small gestational sac. Yes, fetal node is present no fetal cardiac activity and her HCG is 3500. What is the appropriate management in this scenario? So basically, you know that for an ectopic pregnancy, you have medical management, surgical management, and the less commonly used expectant management. That is the wait and watch policy as well. Mainly, you have to know when to use medical, when to use surgical management. Medical management is basically done with your methotrexate single dose of methotrexate. Medical management is given provided the patient is stable. There is an unruptured ectopic. Unruptured ectopic. The size of the ectopic should be less than 4 centimeters. There should be no heartbeat, no fetal cardiac activity. And the HCG should be less than 5,000. Apart from this, some minor points are patient should be willing for follow-up. The patient should be compliant. There should be con no contraindication for methotrexate. All these features are fulfilled. Then you are going to go for medical management. If any one of these features is not fulfilled, you will go for surgical management. That is salpingectomy or salpingeotomy or sal or even salpingostomy, all these options are there included in the surgical management. So the main medical management is uh, methotrexate. The main surgical management that we prefer is salpingectomy, that is removal of fallopian tube. If any of these criteria for medical management is not fulfilled, then you go for surgical management. So let's go into the question. So here you have a Pregnancy, which is 3 cm, yes, less than 4 cm, that's okay. There is fetal node and no fetal heart activity. That is no fetal cardiac activity, no heartbeat. HCG again is less than your 5,000 level. You can go for medical management. If any of these criteria was not fulfilled, I would have gone for the surgical management. In a young patient in whom already the contralateral tube is affected, in that conditions, we prefer for a a fertility preserving surgery where we preserve the two preserving surgeries such as salpingeotomy, salpingeostomy, all these are only done if a patient has, again, she desires fertility and the contralateral tube is affected. In those scenarios only, we go for tube preserving surgeries. Yes.